I'm Sue Kaplan and you're watching Regio TV, the Overstrands online TV channel. Thank you to the over 30,000 people who have watched our channel during the past two weeks. In the news this week. A massive frontal system moved in over the Overstrand during the weekend, leading to a major power outage and wind damage. Eskom and municipal employees were kept busy throughout the weekend fixing power lines and clearing up debris. On Wednesday morning, the Overstrand municipality was forced to close its corporate head office in Armanus due to COVID. Armanus traffic has had to close their doors as well recently. The municipality's operational office at Claymont was also affected, along with the Claymont police station which had to be closed for the third time at the weekend after a member was tested positive for the virus. The number of active COVID cases in the Overstrand has been steadily rising and stood at 298 on Tuesday 30 June. This week, teachers union Satu held peaceful pickets across the region to object against the opening of schools for more grades. Yes, a picket, um, a rigmory of Eska, as one of the visitors, we have to open the picket that we have to open. So, we have to see the lining, let's see, at the door. I will let the open up mark that I'm going to see it while we're at hand. Ons is bereid om te werk. Dit gaan alles oor kinderse veiligheid en ons onderwijsers. Ons het al reeds gesien in die korte tijd hoeveel onderwijsers gesterf het as gevolg van coronavirus. So elke dag van my leven staan nie op met vrees en ek trek my man onder die bloed. Maar dit beteken nie, ek sal dit nie kry nie. While schools are grappling with the virus, the local economy appears to be slowly but steadily picking up. The return to something that resembles normality is clearly visible at the Well Coast Mall, where after a 23% drop in visitors during May, the shoppers are back in their numbers. Met juni sien ons wat het is besig om te normaliseer, mense is weer besig om in te kom, om in die centrum in te kom en hulle inkoopies ook af te handel. En het is ook een positieve ding vir die gemeenskap om aan dinge weer terugkeer na een semi-type normal. On Monday, some local restaurants opened their doors to the public for the first time since late March. And by Tuesday, some locals and visitors were trickling back to their favourite haunts. It's great to be able to open up to customers again, uh, but just the one concern is not being able to sell alcohol, wine or beer. But um, I think the Restaurant Association are petitioning government um, and I think we should start to see some leniency in about a week or two. Yeah, we've been busy since we've opened. We've had constant stream of, of, of customers. Is this your first time at a restaurant since the lockdown? Yes. yes. And what does it feel like? It's great. It's very nice to socialize and be in the air. It's very nice. It's a wonderful view for that. This is summer. This is magic. Can we be cool for one? Near the Grada. And now it's 22. This is magic. This feels like a tourist. Wie van waar? Van Klein Mond. Lovely. Happy to see our restaurants trading again. Time to go to Johannes Frunemann to have a look at this week's local newspapers. We look at three stories from our country from this week. The Village News, the Hermanus Times and the Overstrand Herald. The Overstrand Herald has a photo and a story in about the rückwinde that we have in the past few years. The Village News is very aware of the increase in the number of COVID-19 cases in our community. En dan normale stijl zit ook een COVID-19 studie in over een politieambtenaar wat aangeklaagd van moord omdat hij teruggegaan is naar die politiestatie nadat hij positief getuigd is om die sleutels van een voertuig te gaan afgeven. En tussen tijd gelukkig is die moordlag teruggetrek. Hij wordt wel nog steeds intern onderzoek omdat hij niet moest teruggaan het na die politiestatie niet. Twee van die kranten draaien die studie in oor die valke wat ingegryp het om een persoon van klein mond in hechtenis te neem wat met een paar miljoen randse per limoen gevang is en daar die studie kan ons kry in die Overstrand Herald en hy is ook in die Hermanus Times die studie wat my ook interesseer in die Village News is een brouwerij daar in Hermanus wat sy in plaas van om bier te brouw 
uh, bezig is om sop te maken en daar die uh, toeristen en dit wordt natuurlijk verspreid onder mensen wat niks anders te eet om te eet nie. In al drie korante is daar positieve stories over wat mensen van ons omgeving doen om die huidige tijd van inperking, die tijd waar mensen die geld verdienen, die tijd waar mensen rechtig zwaar krijgen om iets positiefs daaraan te doen. Daar is ook ongelukkig in onze omgeving gevallen van aanranding en zelfs moord op mensen. Tiener wat gruusam vermoord is en gans bij het my oog ook gevang en dat een man dinsdag in die Hermanus Landershof verskyn in verband met daar die moord op hierdie 17-jarige meisje. During the week, a video started circulating on Facebook in which some youngsters apparently from the Helderberg are filming a reckless and extremely dangerous high-speed chase along the R44. Please don't do this. What if the car had spun out of control and went down the cliff? We have no idea whether the driver was injured or not. We believe this was filmed about three weeks ago, just after the first winter rains. We now go to the village of Stanford, where the Pantera Africa Big Cat Sanctuary has launched a campaign to help them look after their cats during the remainder of the lockdown. After more than two months without any income, they really need your help. So we have 28 animals on our property. Um, all of them have been rescued from either neglect or abuse. Uh, most of our animals do come from the canned hunting industry. Um, and we do provide them with sanctuary. So that means that they live the best lives they can while being in captivity. Um, we hold no interaction with our animals, we do no trading, and we do no breeding of our animals. Um, the Feed Me campaign is to help us through the COVID-19 pandemic, um, as we haven't seen uh, any visitors or any volunteers that have helped us financially. Um, so it is to say we need your help to take care of our animals and help us give them the best care, to feed them, to help with their medications, their supplementing, and everything that comes with it. And how can people actually help? What did they do? Wonderful. So if you visit our website, there's a few ways you can help. Um, we have narrowed it down that uh, 350 Rand uh, donation helps feed an animal one time. Uh, 750 Rand feeds an animal for a whole week. And then 1400 Rand will feed an animal for a month. Um, so those donations really do help feed that animal. Um, you can also adopt an animal. So if you particularly fell in love with one of our lions or leopards, um, you can help uh, adopt that particular animal and that'll help with not only their food but their general care. So anything from veterinary care to enrichment and toys and things like that. Finally, no guts, no glory. Terry Jujev from Hansby went from a humble chicken farmer selling her free-range eggs at a market to a thriving entrepreneur with a registered business, an online shop and her own premises all during the lockdown period. I'm actually a free-range egg farmer, my husband and I. We've got a farm out near Purley Beach. Uh, we started off selling our eggs at the Hans Bay Farmers Market over two years ago. Uh, with our customers' interaction, they wanted more fruit, fresh produce from local farmers, which we started providing. Uh, lockdown happened, no more markets. So instead of just sitting on the couch, a Burmaka plan, and uh, we then started home deliveries, started up our web page, which is now up and running, uh, where customers then order online before 5 p.m. on a Wednesday, um, send it through to local farmers, yeah, even in Masikani, uh, Stanford, Puppies Flay. Um, so we also helping to enable small-scale farmers to sell their produce. Um, it gets delivered to our premises here in the industrial area in Hanspai on a Friday. We pack into sanitized crates ready for the person's uh, order to be picked up or home delivery is still an option on a Saturday. So everything's turning out great. We play out with a photograph our cameraman Angus McCaskill took on Tuesday morning at Claymont's main beach. Goodbye and please stay safe.